Hello, hello, my lovely booze. We got a video today. I'm gonna go ahead and open this box for you guys so you can see what's inside this box. The comp the website that I got this from is called CrateJoy.com. They have several different subscription boxes, down to Christian boxes, to spiritual boxes, to crystals, and things like that. If you love crystals, I absolutely love crystal crystals. Um, I really like them for their uh, the different looks of them from their natural energies. You know, they were created by God, Jesus Christ, or, you know, God the, of the, the universe. I mean, I absolutely love this now. I'm not into witchcraft or anything like that. Um, I'm just, you know, really attracted to crystals. I love them. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, let me show you what's inside this. I went ahead and cut it open. Opens like this. Oh, what is this? That's pretty cool. Okay, so the first thing you get, you get these three little messages. It says, Welcome to the Enchanted Crystal Monthly Subscription Box. This box costs me like $14.50 a month. I almost might as well say about $15 a month for this. Um, says we are excited to be a part of your journey through the crystal and mineral world. We are whether you are subscribed to our crystal of the month plan or a crystal variety box. You receive new selections every month. You stay subscribed. Our mission is to provide you with you as much as variety as possible, rare, old finds, new finds, etc., and expand your new or current crystal collection with every shipment. On rare occasions, you may receive a similar or matching variety. However, every crystal has their own unique qualities. This is truly the magic of crystal collecting. Of course, you know, you can read all that whenever you, um, says the process. All our crystals are, or minerals are hand-selected with care and sourced by responsible as res responsibility as possible. Waste is a major problem for any shipping-based business, and we use recycled, recycled, recyclable, and biodegradable materials for our boxes. Uh, before shipping, an Enchanted Crystal team member handpicks and secures each selection with bubble wrap made from post-consumer recycled materials. They are suspended in a natural biodegradable sheet, reduced any shifting during boxes journey to you. The green lime plastic bags used with our mini crystal collection are naturally biodegradable as well. It's pretty cool. I love how it's like got the little logo on it and stuff. And then this one just says, Greetings, thank you for being part of January subscription box. The Enchanted Crystal team and I are looking forward to a fresh start in 2021. Feel truly blessed to continue spreading crystals to all are inspired by them. Says, looking back at our last year, many of us faced new challenges, both together and apart. Adapting and growing to meet these challenges is something we should all be proud of. Looks like Adam and the Enchanted Crystal team. There is their email. Adam at EnchantedCrystal.com or that you can DM them on Instagram. And then this just tells you what's, what crystal is in there. So I'm just going to hold off for a minute before I tell you what that is. I love that it's biodegradable. I love that it's recycled. I love the little labels. Aww. Now, I like to cleanse my crystals and things like I'm because... You know, shipping and things like that, they collect energy as well. Um, so if you have people that are touching your crystals that have like negative energy and things like that, that can be passed on into your crystals. So you do want to make sure that when you first get your crystals, the first thing that you're going to do is cleanse them. Now you can do this several different ways. You can use sage. You can use moon water. You can do it in a full moon. Um, you can also do this just by your God-given hands. Um... You can do this by selenite, things like that. You just need to, when you're doing crystals and things like that, you really need to do your research on them, find out what the meaning of them are and what they do. Um, but this right here looks like we have amethyst, white, halite, and, uh, let's see, brickadated jasper. Oh my God, that looks like a bloodstone there. I'm looking for the amethyst though. Oh, free bonus, mini crystals or minerals. Okay, so I'm actually going to have to look some of these up. I'm thinking this is the highlight. Um, amethyst are these two here. I see them now that I'm looking at them. Let me go ahead and get these out so I can show you. 
Like I said, I normally don't like to touch them until I cleanse them. But since I am opening these, um, there is the two, looks like the amethyst right here. There is the halite right there, the white halite. And, and these are the jasper, it looks like. These are jasper. And then this one here, I'm not really sure what that one is just yet. So I'll have to look into that too. Because like I said, some of these I don't know. Oh, that must be jasper too. Because now that I look at the bottom of this, it looks the same. It just doesn't have all the other colors on it. But that is what these look like. Super cute. If you're using selenite to cleanse your crystals, you just want to use a little thing of selenite. You want to set your intentions before you cleanse them. Like before I put them on here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say... Um, my intentions are to cleanse these crystals and to um, cleanse them of any negativity. Nothing but positivity will come into these rocks. And, you know, just, you know, you can say a prayer if you like to. What I would do is just take them and lay them on my selenite. Of course, you need to cleanse your selenite before this too, which I've already cleansed all these, so... I'm just going to set these little crystals all over this if I can fit them all on there, which I think I can. I do have another selenite, but now they sell selenite in different forms. You can get a tower, you can get a plate, or you can just buy them like they are here. All right, so pretty cool. We're going to open this up. Now, I just got the small package. They have two different, they have several different uh, crystal packages that you can order. I'm just going to take this little thing of scissors. I'm just going to pop right through this. Be very be very careful as well because these are crystals. They will chip and break if you are not careful. So be very, very careful with your crystals. And you look at these crystals here. These are tumbled. These are because if you see how shiny they are on all sides... They're just very, very shiny. Slippery as well. Um, that means they are tumbled. Um, okay. I like the raw look. I like the tumbled look as well. Um, but I much prefer to go to... Um... <gasps> oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, it's a flora. Oh my God, that's beautiful. This is actually one of my favorites. It's actually one that I'm wearing right now. Around, I wear a necklace that has one on it. And they are just beautiful. But... And this is called a, a tower. A tower. No, not a tower. It's called a... Hold on a minute. <laughs> is it a wand? I don't know. I'll have to look. I can't remember. Like I said, I've just been recently starting to get these because I was fascinated by them. And so I've been learning as I go. And this is called a rainbow fluorite. Says so this month's crystal, we've selected rainbow fluorite from the amazing deposits located in... Hunan Province, China. This came from China. Uh, flora, which is the first recorded in, in 1530, has a long history of industrial uses, but given its natural cubic form and wide array of colors, it is also one of the most sought after minerals for collectors. Rainbow Flora has become famous for its fantastic banding of clear purple and green. This is due to multiple separate deposits of flora layering on top of each other. What causes these sections to possess different colors can come from two sources. First, there may be, and may be impurities inside the crystal which disrupt the atomic structure of the fluorite while it is being formed. The other possibility is it could have been exposed to natural radiation within the earth which also disrupts the atomic stru structure. Similar, similar to amethyst and smoky quartz, Whichever of these occurs and, and the end result is light passes through the crystal portions of the visible spectrum and is captured by the d distorted crystal lattice. Then this causes our eyes to see the vivid purple and green running through the fluorite. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. But now it also, let me go ahead and tell you what it's... Um, what it does. Let me see here. I, mean, I should have pulled that up already, but of course I didn't. Oh, okay. So it says common healing properties of rainbow fluorite. This is a list of them, okay? 
It um, enhances protection, block, blocks electromagnetic pollution like from your computer, your phone, um, TVs, microwave, things like that. That's what this is for. You can do that. It also reduces stress, transforms negative energy into positive energy, maintains balance in the physical body, strengthens the intuition, improves concentration, promotes self-confidence, improves coordination, dispels mental illness, shows the truth in any situation, aids in objectivity and fair judgment, balances the emotional body, relieves symptoms of infection, protects against viruses, stimulates the intellect, enhances clarity of mind and lucidity, stimulates re relief of stiff joints, relieves arthritis pain, cleanses the mind, body, and spirit, helps heal en energies of the spine, diminishes pain related to the nervous system, heals blemishes and other skin problems, encourages accurate psychic readings, heals unhealthy, unhealthy bone marrow, and let's see, it says colors, bands of clear, violet, purple, lavender, blue, green, and yellow. Um, which is really hard to see unless you look really close to it. And I love it. Like, it's absolutely my favorite. Um, it's associated with your chakras. All, but especially the sixth, the third eye, or seventh is crown. Zodiac sign is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. The elements are air. Companion flowers are cherry blossoms, which I love. Com uh, compassion essential oil is living verbena. Lemon verbena, verbena, sorry. A companion stone is a black onyx. Common or, origin is Illinois, USA, China, United Kingdom. Um, also known as floor spar, floor, floor, floor spar, sorry, I'll get it right, floor spar. Um, it says also another description for this is Hillam properties of rainbow fluorite. It says description, rainbow fluorite is a powerful, powerful stone with m many unique healing properties. When you use this stone, you can feel clarity wash over you as you co uh, consciously co-create with the universe. Here's how you can embrace the incredible variety and beauty of this crystal. Okay, healing properties of the white halite. Okay, it says, what well, halite strengthens memory and stimulation desire for knowledge. I'm just kind of looking here. Okay, it's uh, for knowledge. It teaches patients, um, helps to eliminate rage, pain, and stress. A calming stone, halite calms communication, uh, facilitates awareness, and encourages emotional expression. Halite balances calcium levels in the body. Okay, so here is a little bit more that I found out about the halite. It says, halite stones have a lovely smoothing energy that will help to alleviate stress and may help to calm fits of anger and bad temper. They have extremely useful, useful metaphysical properties that will aid you to deal with belligerent or aggressive people. Their energy will calm both you and the other person. They may also heighten the level of patience you are feeling about what is happening. For anyone having sleep difficulties, place a piece under your pillow as it is known to alleviate insomnia. They are, they are beneficial third eye and crown chakra stones that are used, helpfully used in meditation and researching past lives. Where is it from? How I, uh, the meaning of the name is this mineral relates to the person who first discovered it, a Canadian chemist called Henry Howe. Says it is most frequent found as white nodules that have prominent gray, brown, and black veins through them. This is quite soft stone that mostly found in the massive form. They can also be found, although less commonly, as transparent tubular crystals. Uh, these bore rich stones are often seen selling in various colors, and these crystals are created by dyeing the white stone. Um, deposits of this stone were first identified in Canada and have since been found in Germany, Turkey, Pakistan, Russia, Mexico, Mexico, and the USA. In California, which is the most common places that it comes from. It says, um, 
their energy helps boost the level of patience that you may be feeling. These white crystals may assist you to reach your end goal more easily by assisting you to stay on your course and whether you undertake. Hella is a helpful stone to use if you are studying as they inspire you to reach new ideas. They may also trigger instinctive, instinctive, instinctive sorry, standards of dec decent moral behaviors. They're above it for, oh my God, why can't I not talk? Probably because I've been up since five o'clock today. It says their vibration may also help you if you tend to procrast procrastinate and they may stimulate creative ways to achieve what you desire. Okay, and so as Jasper here, the chakra that Jasper is uh, helps with is the base chakra, the root, the root or base chakra stone is what it's called. It helps you to keep you a balancing, harmonizing, cleansing, and energized. It's a grounding stone, which are the is this stone, this stone, this stone, and these stones here. Maybe I should. It helps you with empowerment, bringing strength to resist emotional domination by others and the courage to overcome domestic violence and any of the other abuse that you have gone through. It also sustains those in the process of healing and recovering. All right, guys, so that's all I'm gonna tell you about these crystals. Like I said, it's a monthly description. They usually take it out by the 5th or whatever date you pay by. But uh, it, uh, I think they do send them out on the 7th, I think it is. But it, did, it, it took a little bit to get to me, uh, only because where I paid on the 15th, because they usually take process the payment on the 5th and then it's sent out a few days after and plus the fact that uh, depending on where it's coming from but it probably took me about a week to get this I guess uh, but I love it like I said they have bigger ones where you can get other more crystals bigger crystals um, but you get one so far on my first one I got the one big one and then several small ones but supposedly each month you get a different crystal um, I may think about doing the other package because um, it's like $4 more than this one. It's like $18 where this one is like 14 So I may upgrade to that one. But I do like this one. If you're just wanting like a few crystals, I advise this one. Or if you want a lot more crystals, then of course get the bigger one as well. So, alright guys. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the crystals. I love them. I do have another box coming for you guys. But let me know what you guys think about crystals. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Um... I, like I said, I, I really do enjoy them. Like I said, I, I really think, you know, they're created by God, but they, He created all. You know, so it's like, I don't see any badness in this. Because like I said, you're just using these for their natural, their natural energy. But like I said, this is not something to worship or idol or anything like that. I'm not doing any kind of spells or incantations or anything like, that, thing like that. I'm just enjoying them. So, anyways, like I said, I'll leave the link down below for you guys. So, that way, if you want to go check it out, you can. Um, there are codes on the website that you can use to get, like, 15% off. There's videos you can watch on YouTube and get discount codes. So, make sure you go check all that out, guys. But, anyways, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I love every one of you guys. If you are not new, I still love you guys. And, anyways, don't forget to share my video like my video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!